Hey, what's going on guys? So we are in Chicago. I am doing another zoo tour with Cat Aaliyah. Hello, thanks for having me. Absolutely. I love doing zoo tours with what? you. So we are also here with Ed and Emily from Snake Discovery and three really other awesome friends. And we are going to give you guys a tour of Chicago's most awesome zoo, the Brookfield Zoo. <laughs> So we've got Billy, we've got Kyla, we've got Brendan, we've got Catalia, we've got Emily and Ed. Where are we going right now? Tropic World! That's right, we're heading in. Wander through Africa. Been there, done that. Oh yeah. I can feel the anticipation of awesomeness. Oh, this is just awesome. All right, this way to Asia. Just follow Emily. Now we're in Asia. I didn't know it was so quick to travel from I'm, South America to Asia. It is. Wow, just a 30 second hike. 30 seconds. Oh, only on Delta. All right, so that's uh, the Tropics Trail. What do we all think? That was very cool. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. It was cool. Big habitat. So yeah, it's really big. Sweaty. All right, so now we've uh, come to a place where we don't know where we are. Yeah, we went through a weird side door because the rest of the exhibit's closed. Oh, is that what happened? All right, so that let's way? go yonder. All right, Kat, where are we going now? Feathers and scales. Feathers <laughs> and scales. So now, wait a minute. Here's feathers and scales, but over yonder is reptiles and birds. I am very confused now. It's just a building of feathers and scales. Yeah. Oh, I that see. Has the animals. That has the animals. I got it. Let's go see oh. the feathers and scales. Ooh, what's behind the curtain? Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think this is like a new place that I have not seen this before. This might be. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. It's a nice little Jumeril's boas. Hopefully, I'll be seeing these in the wild in January. Oh, it's very foggy in there. Now, is he supposed to be out? Ooh, he was almost headhunted. And there is one of my favorite American birds, the Roadrunner. Actually, a member of the Cuckoo family. Hey, Cuckoo, where are you going? So this is an Arizona mountain king snake. Lampropelthus pyromelena, or pyro for short. That is a good looking dude. <laughs> These are crocodile lizards. These are awesome. He's beautiful. He really is. They're also the only existing member of their family. That's the true. only relation to the crocodile lizard was a species found in the Wyoming River 10,000 years ago that went extinct 10,000 years ago. And that's but they're, they're the only other relation to the right. crocodile lizards. Right. What a weird thing. And over here we have the Aruba yeah, Island rattlesnake. rattlesnake. This is the reason I want to go to Aruba to find these guys. And there's another one over here that's a red phase. So very cool. I will get to Aruba one day for sure to find these. That is really pretty. Jamaican boa? Oh, nice. That's gorgeous. Here's the Gaboon Viper enclosure. Absolutely love these snakes. So cool to find one in the wild when I was in Africa. And this is the weirdest rattlesnake in the world. These are rattlesnakes that have degenerated their rattles. And these are found on the island of Santa Catalina in the Gulf of California. And these are the ones that we were finding when I visited Santa Catalina Island. 
These are awesome. And on this one, you can't see that they've degenerated their rattles, but even adult rattlesnakes just have a little button left, not a complete rattle. All right, so now we're gonna go check out the other reptile and birds exhibit over here. So, do we think that this is new? I think so. I don't. I've never been in that building before. Okay. Granted, I haven't been here in. A I long haven't been time. here in <laughs> years and years. I don't know. But so we're gonna go check 15, out 1990. the reptiles and birds over here. Okay. So we're going in the side entrance here. Oh, it's it's a little bit crowded in here. Neon Tetra. Look at that setup. That setup is awesome. All for Neon Tetras. Seriously, This is such an incredible enclosure. Look at this. We've got a prehensile tailed skink in this one. Who's in this one? Oh yeah. What species is that? Looks like Timorensis. Oh, I like all the foam. Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is. We've got sailfin dragons in this enclosure. There's the male. And then the female is right over there. Alright, so then we get to the Cayman Lizard exhibit. Look at this. They've got an indoor waterfall. That is so cool. And then right over here, look at that lazy dude right there. And here we have the Lake Titicaca frog. They look like that because their name is Lake Titicaca frog. Look at that big chunky rock iguana and his girlfriend. But look at this big open enclosure they've got. That is really cool. And they've got a Catalia here. <laughs> and they've got a graze monitor lizard. These monitor lizards are really rare to see in captive collections, like in zoos. That is something really amazing. Don't they eat fruit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. these guys are fruit They're eaters, fruit actually. Eaters. Yeah. That's insane. And the only other one I've ever seen is in San Diego. Right. This guy's a mammoth, though. That guy is a huge That's gray. A All right, this guy just stole the show. Yeah. Seriously. I am excited to see this guy. Yeah. And look at this big old retic. Man, you just gotta love a big old retic. Nice big pool for him. Nice big enclosure. Electrical outlet that he can charge his iPhone. This retic has everything in here. So we're going into this section over here. Lots of birdies. Bird. Hello, bird. How's it going, bird? What's up? What's going on? How you doing? <laughs> he's not sure what to make of me. No, he's, he's like so confused. <laughs> All right, so this was a really incredible reptile house, but there's so much more of the zoo to see. We're heading out. Oh, and look, they have all of the list of where all the mold are. Okay, so uh, I got to interrupt this video to cater to my geek hood. Mold are the coolest thing in the world. Look at this. You can make a parrot, and that's exactly what we're going to do. And now watch. Thank you. You're welcome. This is the Thank one you. thing that I am like totally geeked out about. I've been collecting these since I was like seven years old. Yeah. I've got like have? 400 of these things. Oh yeah, gosh. I really do. They're all do over my office. 
I don't have the green parrot, no. So this is a new to your this collection? This is new to my like collection, yes. yes. This is awesome. That's cool. I'm so glad to be a part of this moment. <laughs> this is an amazing moment right now. Really huge. Look at that! Da, 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 da. Oops, wait, 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 wait. wait. As a kid, I cried all the way off. That was, that could have been Harry. Oh, done, done, done. I'll do that for the next one. And it smells amazing. It does. Oh, that's a good smell. That's such a good smell. Oh, plastic. Mm. Mm. Burn plastic. All right, who else is getting one? All right, I got a new one for my office. There's many more of these here. We are going to find them all. All right, we're going in to the Living Coast with everybody else. Oh, look at this. Squishy, Squishy floor. Look at this. We've got baby seahorses here. That is really cool. You know what happens when you take a crappie out of the water? What? It does the floppy crappie. It does the floppy crappie. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, we got moon jellies. These guys are so cool. Can you touch the tops of those without being stung? Yeah. They'll sting you. And then when they sting you, you know what happens when a jellyfish stings you, what somebody else has to do? Wow, look at that. The bathrooms in this place are really awesome. And then we come out to this. Look at this. Look at the attention to detail, like right down to the barnacles. So cool. I mean, it really makes you feel like you're you can there. You smell it? Yeah. yeah. It smells like salt water. Yeah, this is, this is very this is well done. Very cool. All right. Habitat Africa. All right, we're going in to see the African painted dogs. Oh, very cool. Look at this. Look at that dude up there. These guys are so awesome. Look at this then. You come outside and you get a really good look at these guys or their butts. These guys are so cool. I love their patterns. Yeah. Yeah, they're really neat looking. They're like calico patterns. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I like, I like how that one. All right, we are going into hidden gems of the Okapi Forest. Oh. Forest. Okay. Okay, let's they go. Have an <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorite all time animals the Okapi or Okapi. That is a good looking Okapi machine. So that guy right there is why I am a firm believer in cryptozoology. Because for years there was a report that this type of animal existed out in the wild and nobody believed that it was there. It was a cryptid until it was actually discovered. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Quite amazing. All right, we are going into the swamp. And here we go. Oh yeah, very swampy in here. I like how they have like the ground kind of mushy, squishy ground. squishy ground. So it kind of feels like you're walking in a swamp. Oh, now this is just cool. Oh yeah, we got some herons and egrets up there. We've got a little milk frog. We've got an emerald tree boa. We've got a bill. We got a bill over there. Whoa. <laughs> They've got a massasauga rattlesnake. That is super cool. And then over here, we've got a basilisk. A ba say it three times fast, cat. Basilisk. 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 
basilisk, 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 basilisk. basilisk. There you go. There's no, there's no K, it's basilisk. Oh, sorry, so, 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 so